Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here, and Blizzard just teased huge balance changes coming to Hearthstone on Thursday. So, two days from now, there's going to be 25 buffs. 25 buffs, that's, that's totally bonkers. And then three card nerfs, and then like a nerf to Death Knight. Uh, just, just nerf the whole class, just kill it, kill it all. Oh, I mean, oh wow. Well, let's take a look at what all of these are. I took a look at all of the pictures, I found the cards, and they're right here in this video. So first of all, the nerfed cards. They're going to nerf two standard cards and one wild card. The card that all wild players have been desperate to see something done about it. Twig of the World Tree is going to be nerfed. Rejoice, everyone who plays wild. And as for standard, Overseer Frigidara, which was actually the Frost at Night card that I had hoped to be nerfed, is going to be nerfed. And also Rowdy Fan is going to be nerfed. Oh no. Rowdy Fan nerf does hurt me a little, because Rowdy Fan was the best budget card in this expansion. On the other hand, once Rowdy Fan became ubiquitous, then that kind of meant that budget decks couldn't gain an advantage by using it, so I guess it's fine. But still, I'm, I'm sad to see it go. Maybe it doesn't go far, I don't know what the nerf is yet, but those guys are going to be nerfed. And then there's 25 buffs, and many, many of those buffs are for Warrior. So just from the latest expansion, Festival of Legends, I mean, Warrior got 10 cards in Festival of Legends. 10 cards! And now four of them are going to be buffed. Hey, like, yeah, I guess we kind of missed the mark in Balancing Warrior. Some interesting, interesting buffs here. Okay, Verse Riff and Bridge Riff. No surprises there. I kind of expected all three riffs to be buffed, but only two of them are going to get a buff. Then Rockmaster Vaughn, okay, that was a pretty disappointing legendary. Probably the most surprising card that's getting buffed is Power Slider, because I always had a great time when I was playing with Power Slider. It's just that the other pieces of the deck needed a little bit of support, but hey, I'll take it. Menagerie Warrior, and of course, roofs can go into any archetype if they're strong enough. All right, warrior getting some sweet buffs here, and that's not all the warrior buffs. Because warrior is also getting these buffs. Frightened Flunky, Shield Block, buffs to old corset cards. Like Shield Block, getting a buff, seriously? The card's been like that since the beginning. That That's crazy. And also Tori Bellore getting a buff. So, okay, maybe some fire, enrage, maybe, maybe something. We'll see. You can also use Tori Bellore with black rock and roll. So you play Tori Bellore on four and you rock and roll on five and that wakes up your Tori Bellore. Also works. It's not something that you wanted to actually do previously. But maybe in the future. So yeah, Warrior getting seven cards buffed. That's a lot. But Warrior isn't the only class that is getting some buffs because Mage is getting some major buffs too. And I'm, I'm so surprised by the choices. Like, they're buffing Spite Lash Siren. I, I don't feel good about that, because Naga Mage is it's an extremely frustrating deck when it works, and I was happy that it didn't work. But hey, I guess they want it to work again. They're also buffing Infinitized Maxitude. I wonder how they're going to do that. So, alright, Infinitized Maxitude is, is intriguing. But yeah, we'll see. Then Audio Splitter, okay, another new card. Death Rattle, copy the highest cost spell in your hand, sure. That helps multiple mage archetypes. And then Arcane Artificer. Another really old, they're really pulling no stops here. They're buffing cards, they're buffing new cards, they're buffing old cards, they're buffing cards from the core set. What are the implications for Wild of all of this? Wow, just stuff is coming. There are also a couple of Hunter buffs. I didn't expect Hunter to get any buffs, really. Strangleton Heart. All right, Strangleton Heart was already being ditched from all the decks because it's too slow. It just it just doesn't do what it's supposed to do. Like, hey, it's, it's a fancy game-ending card, potentially, but it's just too slow. But then the other Hunter buff, Haldron Brightwing. They actually, actually want to make Arcane Hunter a thing. Haldron. So far, Haldron has only been buffing stuff in your deck. They said that if Haldron buffs stuff in your hand too, then, then that was just a little bit too strong. Is it too strong anymore? Maybe not. Maybe Haldron is going to buff stuff in your hand too. Oh boy, Arcane Hunter coming. Then a Shaman. I have been thinking about Overlord Shaman a lot, but I just haven't figured out any way to actually make it work because the deck is like win rate is in 30s. 
but I guess if you buff four cards at once, Jazz Bass, Altered Chord, Lightning Storm and Flow Rider, uh, why not just buff all of them? Then maybe, maybe there is something, something, some kind of future for Overlord Shaman even. And Warlock is getting buffs because hey, buffs for you and buffs for you and buffs for you and buffs for everybody. Crescendo buff. Crescendo buff is something that I expected. Crescendo is clearly the weakest performer of the Fatigue package, and I figured that hey, if you buff Crescendo, then the Fatigue package might become playable. But they're also buffing Grace Conductor, which is weird because Grace Conductor wasn't that bad. So this means that, for example, that Fatigue Imp Warlock deck, it's going to love those changes. It loves to use the Conductor already. Buffed Conductor, buffed Crescendo. That's just sweet. And then also, out of nowhere, a buff to Siphon Soul. Like, they are really touching some of the really old cards in this round. They're also making some rogue buffs. Rogue buffs are always something that I'm a little wary of, because if you do buffs for rogue and there's always some kind of miracle rogue text, then you just might end up with them killing everybody. They're touching Record Scratcher and MC Blinktron. Okay, so this aims more like a, more like making a new combo-ish rogue deck. Give them microphone, let them take a lot of damage, boom, kill them, record scratcher, get a lot of mana. Astalor, chup chup, good work, something. But yeah, hopefully nothing too much for the miracle archetype. We'll see. And there are also two druid buffs, and the druid buffs are kind of strange. They're both really old cards. Death Blossom Womper. Draw Death Rattle, meaning again it's Death Rattle, and Kiri, chosen of Elune. Belgrade Solar Eclipse and Lunar Eclipse to your hand. Okay, Kiri was added to Corset recently, and Kiri has always been unplayable, so I guess it wasn't much of an addition to the Corset, so in that sense, yeah, okay, I, I can see that. But yeah, interesting stuff coming for Druid. And finally, buff number 25 is for Priest, a buff to Holy Nova. I have no idea what Holy Nova is going to do after this, but... I mean, wow. 25 buffs, some for the cards from the new expansion, but also cards from old expansions, cards from the core set. They're just all over the place with these buffs. And three nerves plus the Death Knight nerf. Maybe they're touching the Death Knight hero power? I mean, what else could that mean? Could it mean like, hey, we haven't decided what Death Knight cards we're going to nerf yet, but we'll let you know once we figure it out. That would seem a little bit weird, but... Maybe, maybe the hero power is going to be touched. That could definitely be. Anyway, on Thursday, that's a lot of changes. That's a lot of balance changes. So I guess we're going to see a brand new meta and the real launch of Festival of Legends. Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. And a special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, YouTube members and Twitch subscribers who make all of these videos possible.